Righty ho folks, let's crime! And this is some uh, City of Gangsters gameplay, a turn-based strategy game about setting up a crime syndicate in a time of Prohibition America. So you get to set up production chains, hire crew, expand territory, bribe the police, extort money, and more. Um, it's a complex and fairly slow game, so I'll just attempt to give you a taste of starting out. Uh, City of Gangsters comes out August the 9th and is by Casido Games, and thanks to them for giving me an early key to, for this to play for you! My name is Totes Legal. 20 years old Canadian, and I've just arrived in the big city. Prohibition is all over the bloody shop. And here is my territory. The legal territory. Ooh. So this is all random, um, so I don't know what this location is going to be like until I actually start exploring it. Now let's have a bit of a look around. So it looks like um, this is going to be... Where's my, where's my business? There it is. DJ's Barbershop. Apparently this is going to be my building. Uh, owned by Annie, your aunt. Hello. They use grain alcohol for sterilising things. It must be very sterile in there. <laughs> Great to see you. What can I do to you? For you. Well, let's actually get... Her, let's turn in a f her one favour for me. Anything for my dear nephew. What can I help you with? I could use a bit of support with a common friend. I know a word with you would improve my standing with them. Uh, so I can get an introduction on for someone. Let's try this. Um, it looks like we know someone there. So let's just do this. Um, so I'm going to use... I'm going to spend a favour and I'm going to get some good rep with that person. Um, that's not going to proved that much useful at the moment, but let's have a proper look at our business. Um, at the moment in, in stock, and this is basically our warehouse as well, so we've got some wine, some cider, some moonshine, and some neutral alcohol. This business is also going to produce neutral alcohol every four turns, uh, which means we can maybe turn that into something like setting up a new business. Uh, we might want to, like, for instance, start a moonshine operation, which would use neutral alcohol and stoneware crocs and turn that into sellable moonshine, which would be very good indeed. But we'll need a lot of cash to set that off, and a thousand quid in some lumber, and we've only got 150. So that's, that's going to be a long-term thing. In the meantime, we need to drive around and explore the place and see what people have got to buy and sell. Uh, this blue area is basically my territory, um, which is not very big at the moment. So let's see, let's get totes legal investigating some of the places around here. Let's go over here to one of these new corners over here. See what's going on at the tea shop. Um, coffee, black as hell, strong as death, sweet as love, we may be, be able to arrange for some fresh fruits. Mind you, strictly for the vitamins and health benefits. Right, okay. So, we can buy, as it turns out, um, he sells stoneware crocs, which we will possibly need if we're going to set up a business later on. But we're not going to do that just yet, but it's good to know. Right, so I know we can definitely sell, buy that. And we, we'll be able to uh, buy something else from them at some point, but we haven't got enough rep with them yet. Right, the newsstand. Um... Oh, they, they, already, they already owe us two favours, which is handy. Let's actually see if they can help us. Um, our outfit wants to expand our territory and take over this part of the city. I want you to run a front for us in your fine establishment. And fronts in this game are um, very useful indeed. They, um, they will work on... If you actually you know, get, if you get a front going, they will work on expanding your territory. So let's sort that out. But we will need to pay for this, I think. So we're, at the moment we're just explaining to Maurice what this um, is about. First, we need to get locals on our side and gain some respect... Uh, once people know about us and we control a new corner, our outfit will extend an offer of protection to local businesses. We will help protect our friends from misfortune. In exchange, they will come here and drop off some envelopes. <laughs> no questions asked. So he wants 140 quid. Um, now, that's actually um, all the money I've got. So, um, And besides, I, can't actually, I don't actually have the money on me at the moment, so it's back at the warehouse. But it's good to know that at some point we'll be able to um, use him to expand. And in the meantime, let's have a bit of a wander around. Uh, this is still turn one. Uh, we've got a limited amount of movement and action points. So at some point we'll run out of that. Um, let's, we've investigated a new business and it's a painting and construction business. And we could have a chat with those. Ah, okay, so they sell um, small barrels, small bottles and stoneware clocks. There seem to be a lot of places that are going to do that. Fine. What about you next door? Oh, an auto service place. Uh, action points. Skip on to next turn. Right. So they they also sell stoma crocs. Bloody hell, it's Croc City around here. And this place... Oh, hello. Um, we've just found a place um, with where Cecil wants to talk to us. Word on the street is that they want to talk to us. I'm listening. I've heard that you might be looking for a supply of neutral alcohol to clean things. Um, aren't we producing um, neutral alcohol? Possibly not necessary, but... Um, I have some, but for the cops, they keep a tight watch of these places. Um, okay, so he wants 500 quid. Hmm. 
not 100% sure about this because as I say I think we're making this stuff so it seems a bit pointless so let's not do that let's not take on a quest but let's say no thanks there we go uh, and yes, they um, they also sell stoneware crocs, but they also buy other stuff as well, none of which are particularly important. Alright, I mean, let's continue our investigations over here. Oh, a bread shop. Ooh. God damn it, they sell crocs. We don't need them. We well, not, don't need that many of them anyway. Um, run out of action points, skip on to next turn. Each turn lasts a week. Uh, I want to see Oh, they buy SIGs. Alright. Well, if we ever lay our hands on some SIGs, that'll be handy. Right, does anyone actually want to talk to us yet? We could try some favours or whatever. And favours tend to be any... Uh, well, not from any old person. We have, might have to go back into our territory to make full advantage of that. Let's let's pop back and see what's going on back here. And let's try... Let's, let's see if we can get a favour. Um, we could try expanding our territory using this lad. Um, this one does not require any money, I don't think, so I can do that. Right, okay, so th apparently they are now... Um, they're they're going to now start working on um, expanding our territory. Let, let's, um, let's see how much this is going to cost us in, like, weekly cash. Um, and our local youth club is always short of funds. If you help out, they'll put a, your photo up in the clubhouse. That's a powerful reminder of who's in charge here. So we pay 10 quid, and then pay 10 quid every month. Your, your territory may expand to that corner over the course of the next few turns. Oh, small price to pay, I reckon. Nice. So our, our reputation with them is very high. Roger Legal is... <laughs> oh, okay, Roger Legal must be related to me. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a lot, lot about relationships in this game. Um, which is all very cool indeed. And my um, personality types, by the way, I'm talkative and friendly, which does help us in various ways. Okay, so... We still haven't got nearly enough money to do anything yet. We could do with selling some stuff. We haven't really found many places that will actually buy what we've got, so I don't think. Um, brick wine, cider, and moonshine. Let's see if there's anyone who will actually buy this that we've discovered so far. Oh, lots of people will buy brick wine. Okay. In fact, one right next door to us. Um, let's see what else. Uh, moonshine. No, we haven't found anyone to buy moonshine yet. No, uh, they will buy beer. But let's sort out the brick wine. This will give us some easy cash with any luck. So let's go back to our place. Thankfully, it's all on the same, the same block, so we can we can do a very quick transformation here. Um, so what I'm going to do first of all, let's talk to oh, it's these people there. FNO Cafeteria. Hi there. Good to see you again. I have great news. We've taken control of this corner. Things will be better. So we could extort them. Um. We, we should make things better together. It will be an honour to assist. Even a small co monthly contribution of $20 would help this neighbourhood imme immensely. Roger Legal will be collecting them. So we're going to extort them for 20 quid a month. Um, We may be able to do this because we've got high reputation with those. Let's try it. You know you can count on me in a time of need? Yes. Okay. Good. Right. Okay, so we've done that. Um, our reputation with them has gone down as a result, but we are getting 20 um, quid a month, which is very, very nice indeed. Let's move on to the next turn, actually, first of all, and then we'll talk to them again, because I do need to see how much brick wine they're willing to buy. I might have some in the car right now. They'll buy 14. Okay, that's good. Let's now transfer some of the stock. In fact, let's just do all of it into the car. All 15... Things of the what? Actually, I think he might have wanted cider as well. So let's put everything into the car, and then just we just—that's just busy work, just so we can actually get it to them. Um, right, brick wine, all of it, two hundred and ten quid. Now you could try to like push the price up or down to to get different effects, but I'm not going to bother with that at the moment. Let's see if they also want to buy our hard cider. Seven crocs, that's not a huge amount, but 84 quid. We've already got up to 434. Nice. That was a very easy sale. Now what we really want to do is um, start to produce something so we can constantly supply people with booze instead of just using up the stock that we've got. Right, so let's have a bit more of an explore, just see if there's anything else that we can find buying and selling wise. Uh, need to move on to the next turn. Not much here, yeah... 
She hesitates for a second, you get a feeling she trades in black market goods, but she doesn't trust you enough to say more. We'll need to improve the relationship first. Ideally, we'll try and find someone um, who... Like, we'll try and call in a favour and of someone who knows June Armstrong, and that'll increase the respects. So that's something that we can do, hopefully soon. And we found a flower shop. Ooh, so maybe Seymour. No, it's not Seymour. It's Leon O'Connell. Oh, they want to talk to me as well. I've heard a bit of a rumour that you can get your hands on some interesting potent liquids. Moonshine, eh? Oh, look. Okay, a quest to deliver them five moonshines. Perfect. Okay. Uh, let's go and get those, then. That is a very useful thing indeed. Um, let's drop by the ice cream parlour, though, because I do kind of like want to maybe call in a favour and see if we can get... Um, I could use a bit of support with a common friend. This might get us in with June, provided that Warren, who I'm sure I'm related to... Oh, it's my father! <laughs> Hello, pa! Um, <laughs> all right, um, I could, yeah, we could try and get that June woman on my side. Also... Um, we might be able to find a, um, a connection for buying and selling, but let's try this this June thing. Unfortunately, it looks like she um, he doesn't know her. Um, but is there anyone else that we could um, get in with? Hazel, Kyle, there's a, lot, there's a few people I could do with increasing respect with. Um, this, uh, this Leon O'Connell, I think maybe oh, at Leon's Flowers. Let's try you. Use it one favour doing that. Uh, because then Leon's Flowers, oh, I can sell, I can sell stuff to them. That's good, right. Uh, let's do, just um, sort out some other stuff. Let's try this buying us... Oh, that's a different one. Um, hang on, who's Warren Legal? That's my father, isn't it? I, I don't really want to... Yeah, I don't want to sort out another favour with them. Um, oh, yeah, let's, um, let's go back. Let's go back to my base and load up on some moonshine. Not a huge amount. We've got only got a certain amount of space in the car, by the way. That's already filled up to 15%, which isn't a huge amount. Um, so that's done that. Anyone else needs any attention? By the looks of it, no. So let's pop back to... Um, oh, where was it again? It was... Leon O'Connell, who was at the... Which one was it? Oh, God. Um, Leon's Flower Shop. That was it. Right. You've got to really keep on top of things in this. Right. Here's five moonshine. Um, I'm sure uh, I'm sure I can interest my customers if you'd like to do business together. We can definitely do business together. Improve relationship with Leon. Oh, wow. 47. You're a generous person by nature, so of course you helped out when asked and made a new friend. Nice. Right. Excellent stuff. So, they will buy um, homemade beer and moonshine. I should have actually really loaded up. Just out of interest. How much more moonshine will they buy? 15 crocs. So I'll go back there with some moonshine later. I'm really trying to push the cash at the moment. Oh, that's Leon's flowers again. I didn't want you. Now, I haven't actually worked out what I can actually sell with you yet, so I really want to... If, I really could do with improving my relationship with her. If I can just find someone who knows her, that would be very handy. A word on the street is that Northern Warehouse wants to talk to me. Okay, well, let's just swing by my house... or my, my warehouse first, my barber's shop, and grab us some... as many moonshines as I can fit in the car, which is, turns out, 39. Uh, and then let's... Let's pop back. In fact, let's, um, let's, let's actually go immediately get the cash, just in case we do need the cash straight off. So, sell the moonshine. Oh, an exclusive trade agreement. I think it might benefit us both. Um, no. <laughs> I don't know what that... I've never actually tried that. But that's a, a handy 300 quid. And now let's go over to here. See what they want. I've heard that you... Oh, this is this one again. Um, we don't need... We don't need neutral alcohol. We've got plenty. No. Right, I'm going to continue exploring. Oh! Uh-oh. It's the fuzz. Officer um, Jad Wieger um, of the Detroit Police Department. They will make surprise raids at corners with lots of heat, and other times they will patrol the district and arrest miscreants. It might be beneficial to become good friends with your precinct officer. Perhaps through a recommendation from a shared connection, and then pay them off. Well, Fine. Don't know anyone who's wanted to talk. Um, I don't know anyone who knows them yet. But a lot of people want to talk to me. Shit, everyone wants to talk to me. Oh bloody hell! You can tell by that little question mark, yellow question mark icon. Ugh. Oh, hello. Um, I've also, also I can improve my skills because I've leveled up. Um, brawler, efficient driver, maybe more action points per turn. Yes, let's go for that. Your crew is becoming more time efficient. Excellent stuff. I was going to go down there, wasn't I? Um. Well, apparently Morris wants to talk to me. And I'm very close to them at the moment, so let's just pop by them. 
So we came to this country and then they ban alcohol. If we were back home, we could drink as much as we like. Um, also, if we were back home, I could make as much as I want. So they may... Okay, so they're giving you a mission to get five corners in my territory. I've only got one so far, but we are working on that very slowly. I'll come back once our outfit is um, um, taken on a few more comers. It looks like they might want to teach me a skill at some point later, which is handy. And maybe I could call it a favour whilst we're at it. Let's try and find someone. Do they know anyone we need to know? Hmm. Well, we don't, our reputation with a lot of people ain't particularly that hot. So, I think maybe um, Hazel Kyle feels like she could do with her some higher rep. There we go. Anything else? I might actually try, try that again as well. I could do with getting relationship up with Ida as well, I think. Not particularly necessary, but it's always good to try and get as high a reputation as you can. And there's a lot of other people who want to talk to me. God damn it. Right. So, let's have a look. I'm going to pop over here, just have a, a look-see at these. I want to... God damn it, more crocs. Oh, it's a, it's a police station. Uh-oh. Oh, that's where you are. Um, uh, Officer Jadwiga. Well, not cooperating at the moment. They need a good old bribe. A big, fat, juicy... Um, Envelope full of bribings. Oh, next turn. Oh, drugs. Oh, suspicious. They're suspicious of me at the moment. Not surprised. They will buy cigs. But yeah, there's nothing for us really down there. Let's go and talk to people who want to talk to us. There's a few of them. So let's go down here. Oh, this front has a fat stack of envelopes for you. Oh, yes, because they're a front and they've been collecting protection money. Excellent stuff. Let's, let's collect that. So, we've, unfortunately, we are paying get that youth club some money every month for, for the whole rep thing, but we are gaining protection money. And total net gain, 10 quid <laughs> per month. Mm, not great. All right. Fine. Now, who, wanted, who else wanted to talk to us? What about those people behind us? Oh, that's, that's the protection. Oh, they actually want to talk to me. Okay. Uh, maybe you've noticed this neighbourhood is not that thirsty for moonshine. That's correct. Well, I've been here for a while and no blah 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 blah. And I reckon I could help you learn something that's more to the local liking. Okay. So they want five moonshine uh, to um, to actually enable this to happen. I believe I already have five moonshine. Oh, I've already got it in the car as well. Okay. I was going to deliver those at some point, wasn't I? Okay, that's fine. That's very easy. Um, Who was it again? It was you, wasn't it? Deliver the five crocs, and I can learn a new skill. I mean, brick wine production, cider making, home brew, or fruit wine. Um, feels like I should get home brew going on. But I'm, I'm making, I'm making stoneware crocs. I think home brew, because I think that requires stoneware crocs. Nice. Okay. Right. Let's have a look. Hello, police. <laughs> Ignore me. So we are producing... Oh, we're producing neutral alcohol, aren't we? Ooh. No, Stoneware Crocs was the previous game. Well, <laughs> I was making them. God damn it, it's neutral, neutral alcohol. Um, but let's have a look um, at setting up a thing. Oh, no, it's true. No, look, 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 look. Neutral alcohol and Stoneware Crocs. That's fine. Good. Uh, we can buy the Stoneware Crocs from anywhere. We're, we're producing the alcohol. We just need a thousand quid and some lumber. And we've, 744, so we are getting there. But that's moonshine. Actually, it was actually homebrew, wasn't it? If we were... Oh yeah, unfortunately. That, that's actually much cheaper to set up and we could do that, but we'd, we'd start to need malt syrup, which is a different thing entirely. But we could still get the crocs. I'm still thinking about maybe moonshine may be a good idea. However, if it's true that the neighbourhood doesn't really want it, there's not a huge amount we can do. They they want it, though. Leon's flowers, so I don't know what he's on about, to be honest. I'm, I'm probably happy to do the moonshine. Right, I'm just having a bit of a chat with the police officer. Um, I could I could try to bribe her, but I've got no reputation. They've heard word that you can be counted on to take, take care of business. Hmm, I'll give it a go. I would recommend you stop beating your gums before you say something you're going to regret. Uh-oh. Have a good day. Ooh. Okay, ignore that. Ignore that, police officer. I'm going to go on to Leon's Flowers and sell some perfectly respectable um, booze. Unfortunately, this, we've, we've found Kerali's crew. Um, Small-time troublemakers, so they only have one corner under their control and they won't expand. But they may cause trouble for us, or we may be able to get help from them at some point, but... That seems to be their territory, so let's leave it for now. And in the meantime, let's see if we can actually sell some more booze. Unfortunately, the cops are right outside. 
Oops. <laughs> so they're not wanting to do business at the moment. Yeah, unfortunately we've got two um, police officers flapping about at the moment. Violet has got involved now. So let's pretend that nothing's happening and we'll just wander over here and see what this business is instead. Um. Next turn. Oh, the police are following me. But on the on good thing, we've just um uh, that expansion has actually finally kicked in. We've got a new corner. Visit your front and pay them to increase respect on a new corner. Right. Okay. Oh, look at this. Our territory now is all over the place. It looks like we can go to the corner tea shop and get a business expansion. Or Morris's newsstand, where we have unfinished business. Ooh. Unfortunately, the police is... Okay, let's go go back to Leon's Flowers and see if I can actually now sell. Here we go. Um, I think it's moonshine, isn't it? They want seven crocs. That's not a huge amount, but we've got it. Uh, okay, so that we've got up to 884 quid. Let's pop over here. Hello, officer. Ignore me. Um, I have great news. We've taken control of this corner. Things will be better. Right, so let's shake them down. Oh, no, we haven't really got that much respect with them. I'm not sure if I should try and shake them down, but I'll try anyway. That's extortion! I guess I have no choice. I take a reputation hit of 10. They resent being extorted. Plus two due to personality quirks. Plus five, they've heard words, word that you can be counted on. Plus 12, they know you from back in the day. Ooh, okay. Right, so that's another 20 quid. So uh, one of these places, I might be able to set up a bit of expansion. Be nice. Maybe we can extort them and all. <laughs> no, I don't. Let's not. Actually, what, have I, what do I need for those? Let's have a look. We um. Oh, the unfinished business, I think, is um. Okay, fine. We just need more corners. So I'm gonna call in a favour with Maurice um, to actually um, try to expand territory. So. We could actually get a new building to expand our outfit's operations. So we'll be able to set up another, like, booze operation. But since we haven't set up a first one yet, that's probably unnecessary. In the meantime, let's open a new front. Uh, ten quid a month this will cost us. So that's going to happen. And they'll slowly work on getting us more territory. Excellent stuff. Right, unfortunately, the police are hanging around outside our place. Uh, we've got quite a bit of heat. Uh, thanks to all the illegal activity, so we've got to be careful. We can't really be doing much. Um, unfortunately, I do want to do some buying and selling f from my corner because we've got uh, we've still got a little bit of stuff in our warehouse that we could just flog, basically next door. So I'll clear all that stuff out. Oh shit! I've just, <laughs> I've just accidentally moved the car. Ooh, never mind about that. It looks like um, there's a cat in the. Oh, it's the fox. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, real life stuff. Um, right, anyway, yes, we've just met another crew. Uh, small time quibble makers. Alright. Oh, it's over there. A the fox is distracting. <laughs> Stop, get off the wall, you mangy little prick. Right, anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, I was doing something, wasn't I? Um, yes, the, the police have disappeared, which is very good. Uh, I'm going to now do a bit of shifting because I think it's the, um, the, the FNO cafeteria will. S We'll buy a couple of things. Uh, wine and hard cider. So I'm going to quickly just shuffle all that. Oh, no, that's lumber. Shuffle all that into the car and then sell it here. Hard cider. Well, they only buy five. That's not a huge amount. It's not quite what I wanted financially. I'm trying to get up to a, a thousand quid so we can start our brewery. You can have one. 15 quid. God damn it. 949 quid. Ugh. We just need a bit more cash. Just gonna do a bit of minor exploration. Um, I've got enough cash now, but that's. I, I, I could do with a bit of a buffer. Exploring some uncharted territory. So, an auto service. Who wants to talk to us? Um, I've heard a bit of a rumor that you can get your hands on some interesting potent liquids. They want moonshine as well. In fact, I think I've got some in the car at the moment. There we go. Um, wow, that firewater will get the job done. I'm sure I can interest my customers if you'd like to do business together. Someone asks you for help, you oblige. Now it's time to explore the benefits of generosity. Hmm. Uh, not, enough, not enough action points at the moment. Right. So, where, which, which place was that? That was that place, wasn't it? So they will buy homemade beer and moonshine. Oh, be, okay. Good. That's an, another place to buy the moonshine. We've actually got some, so why not? That's all that we've got. Yes, look. 
cash. Plenty of cash. Let's see what favours they can do us. Can you get me an inn with some local troublemakers, which I think we know about? Let's try that. Um, I believe you've met Harvey. I can put in a good word. Harvey, I think he's that guy there. There he is. Okay, put in a good word for me. Your good word will be appreciated. Um, they, they might get you some leads on some hard-to-find items. Ooh. Right. Okay, so that was a good favour. And that can be something for the future. In the meantime, let's now go back and set up our business. Um, if I can just move my car. There we go. Oh, hang on. Fat stacks. 30 quid. Ooh. Nice. Right, anyway, never mind about that. Let's set up a new business. So, we need a thousand quid. I have 50. Um, yeah, okay, hang on. Hang on. I just need to shift shift a few things around. I've got all, all the money's in the car at the moment. Uh, let's put enough in there. So I've only got 100 quid on me at the moment. But that's fine. Now we can set up the business. And we've got the four lumber already in stock, which is handy. This is going to take five turns to build. And then it'll produce 25 moonshines every month um, at a cost of neutral alcohol, which we're actually making in this facility anyway. And we'll just have to make sure that we get a steady supply of stoneware clocks. Absolutely want to do that. That cut kicks us all the way back down to 159 quid, though, but that is a sound investment for the future. Might have a word with Harvey. Next turn. Oh! I found a new person. Gameplay hint. Makes sense. Fine. Right, okay. Um, smart opportunist. Oh, let's, let's improve driving, so I can drive further per turn. Your crew is becoming better at driving. Yes! Right, it seems we know some of the same folks. What brings you here? I think you have to have enough reputation to have a chat with them, I think. Say, if there's an interesting opportunity in this neighbourhood, I imagine you'd be the first to know. I'd like to patronise some of the businesses on your corner. Um, I understand they'd be afraid that you wouldn't look to... No, we don't want to do that. Um, oh, you always, always be a favour. Oh, we could start a fight. I'm not getting out. You can... I'm always looking for people on the level who I can work with. I'll let you know if I come across anything suitable. Okay, so we've gotten in with him. Let's see what favour he can do me. Maybe he knows people. Ooh! Look, he may be able to get the, the, the fuzz off our back. Oh, he also knows June. Oh. Hmm. This is what we were looking for earlier. Let's do that. I would appreciate that gesture. So June is finally going to be pleased with us. Nice. Okay, that's used up all our favour with him, which is a shame, but never mind. And I think that's it. Thanks, Harvey. You are very useful for my operations, probably. We've also got Geraldine Hewitt's crew who owns that small block. There's, there are other major people out there. Um, it's not just me who's running a gang, there's other gangs which are fairly terrifying. But in the meantime, let's just pop back uh, and because someone, they want a word with me over here, so let's see what they want on the next turn. Um, I've noticed one of the hardware stores out is holding out on you. They have some top of the line filters that could really help your booze operations. So, they want... Um, drop, up, drop off some tools and a bit of cash for the crew. We'll just help ourselves. After hours, if you know what I mean. So if we can get two baseball bats and 500 quid... Um, <laughs> that will be a thing, but... That'll be a long-term thing. There's not really much we can do there for the time being, because we haven't got the cash and we haven't got the bats. Let's have a quick check at the bread Breadarium. Oh, that's not even... That's actually my territory. I have to, I have to creep out. Having a hard time finding some neutral alcohol. Not you, not another one of these. They really want some neutral alcohol. Oh, they want us to have neutral alcohol, but they want bottles. No. So they really don't want neutral alcohol because we're making that ourselves. It's a bad opportunity. What do they want? Oh, apparently they. this needs my attention. Okay. What do they want? How is expansion coming along? Uh, we're running short on cash. Okay, so we need to bung them 10 quid. Fine. Alright. That's fine. I'm fine. That's fine. High reputation. Let's see if we can, they can do me any favours just whilst I'm at it. There's loads of favours. Um, Some weapons. Ooh! Let's find some weapons. Uh, as a matter of fact, I happen to know on the, um, what's on the streets around here. I can get you some weapons. Knife. Well, ideally. Oh god, look. Apparently we need a bigger crew for most of these things. But a knife! I'll take a knife. You learned about a new resource, a switchblade. Excellent stuff. 
So obviously there's no um, good time to finish this um, video uh, because it's, it just keeps on going and going. But um, we'll pause here. I'd just like to also point out that you can, there's, there's so much more you can do with this. Like um, we haven't even hired our first crew member yet and get a new vehicle and maybe set up delivery routes so you can automate. Like for instance, what, what I want to do in the long term is start to get a delivery route so to, to go away, buy some stoneware crocs, come back to my house or my storage and supply our operation with a constant supply of that. Because at the moment all we've got in is, is a small amount of moonshine and some neutral alcohol. But once we turn neutral alcohol in, and crocs into um, moonshine, we can then sell that and maybe set up a delivery there as well to one of these people who buy it, which um, I think it was um, Leon's Flowers, wasn't it? And we could also maybe get an exclusive deal there, which would be fun. And we can also expand. Add a small boiler to operation, increase production by 10%. Can't do that. We need an operation manager, so we need to hire another crew member to actually install there. And we must have any of the traits intelligent and hard working, so there's plenty that you can do. But yeah, the world's your oyster, or at least Detroit in the 1920s. <laughs> oh, hello. Who are you? Oh, it's Highland Park. Ooh, delicious whiskey. Okay. Well, fine. Never mind about that. Anyway, yeah, so this is out on August the 9th. Um, a very fascinating game. This, is, this takes a long time to play, but I think it's worth it. Uh, thank you. Do subscribe to Underbind's user to be notified when new stuff goes live. Uh, and check me out on Buy Me a Coffee. If you want to support the channel, uh, link should be on the screen and in the description. Uh, bye for now.